So when should we prune back our old peaches or clean up some of these tattered leaves? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. How to maintain a healthy Nepenthes peacher plant. So welcome back to another video. My name's Alex and if this is your first time here and you love gardening, ornamental plant care, DIY and general self-sufficiency, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you don't miss a single thing. So the only thing you're going to need is a nice sharp pair of scissors. Make sure that they're sterilized. You can do this easily by just rubbing the cutting surface with alcohol or bleach or running it over a flame, maybe on your lighter or gas cooker. This will kill any funguses or bacteria that might be transmitted then onto your plant. So what are the benefits of taking your time to prune up your pitcher plant? Well, take a look here on our right. I pruned this one up about a month and a half ago. Just take a look at that, how lovely it looks. Healthy, green, nice and lush. First benefit is that you're allowing more light to penetrate the new growth of the plant, the new little basil shoots that are forming, the, the new leaves. So your plant's going to photosynthesize a lot better. The other benefit of opening up your plant is you're allowing for greater airflow to travel through your plant and getting rid of any stagnant air pockets. Nepenthes are a tropical picture plant, but that doesn't mean they enjoy stagnant conditions. They still like a lot of good airflow and that'll reduce the possibility of it getting fungal damage. The other benefit is it looks a lot nicer. Look at that. Look how nice this plant is looking. Don't you think it looks good compared to this one with all its old tattered leaves? Needs a serious haircut. So let's get chopping. So you can see how dense the growth has got down here. This needs opening up so new growth can thrive and also so some air can get down there. So we can see this old leaf here. We'll just take the whole leaf of this one. So we'll just chop that right back at the stalk. It's a pretty old leaf, the pitch is well dead. Better just to get rid of that. The plant will get much more benefit. You can see here this picture, it's um, started getting dry, but there's still a lot of life in that. And this will be still feeding the plant. So we'll leave that on. I'm only interested in the ones that have really ended their cycle and they're not benefiting the plant at all. So we'll leave that on and we'll maybe clean this this leaf up right underneath. As you can see, that's pretty old and the picture's well gone. This is the one we're talking about just under here. We'll take that back and we're taking it back as far as we can go right at the joint. Just like that. I've got another one there, look. Pretty, really gone. So that's all we're doing. We just keep looking, taking our time. Look, there's a little picture that didn't finish growing really here and it's doing nothing. So we'll get him out of here also. And you can see the new growth I'm talking about right here on this stem. Come and have a look. So can you see that nice new little shoot that's coming along here and a nice new growth point here also. By cleaning up these old leaves, we're allowing the plant to focus its energy on these nice new growth points rather than wasting time keeping an old leaf alive. Just keep taking your time. There's no rush. Make yourself a nice cup of tea and take your time. Keep hunting down these old leaves. Look, we've got another old one there, old picture, well gone. But that leaf, leaf's still not too bad. It can keep going for a little bit longer. We can see an old picture here as well. Pictures started dying away, but this is still feeding the plant. It's still nice and fresh. So we'll leave him on for now. This one too, he looks, looks old. It's a little bit unsightly. If you don't like the look of it, then get rid of it, is what I say. But it is still doing its job. It's still new and alive down here on the bottom. It will be digesting anything that's in here. But 
if you don't like it and you can't stand to look at it, it makes your teeth itch, then get rid of it. In fact, it makes my teeth itch just looking at stuff like that. We've got another candidate here. Snip him off. Leaf still in nice condition though. Just keep looking around. We've got another one there, look, and another one here. It's been in desperate need of a prune, this plant. He's well ready for retirement, that one. It's quite a young leaf, but I'll get rid of him just for the sake of opening up the plant a little bit more. Now, don't be worried if you notice that your Nepenthes is getting quite woody on the old stems. That's normal. They can become very woody on the older branches. Get rid of him. Still doing his job, but I want to really open this centre more so that more airflow can get in there. Got another picture here that seemed to just not finish forming. Clean him off. It can go. This leaf's getting old. But we'll leave him on for another month before we clean that one off. Having a slim pair of scissors that you can get right in is really handy. I had these for years for bonsais. But they work really well. You can be like a little surgeon with them. So we're just going to stick a new stake in there down the center. It just ease it in gently and we'll tie that to its stake just like that. Next job we're going to be doing to these plants in maybe a month's time is repotting them. These two are in desperate need of a repot, new media, and I want to reduce the pot size as well. Be explaining that in the next video. If you want to watch that video and it's out already, just click in the top corner, it should appear right now. So we've staked that up like that, and we're just going to give a nice last look at our plant. Pull up a pew and just have another last look. In fact, I've decided. He's got to go. Don't like to see him. And that leaf can go right there as well. Can be retired. We'll leave him on. He can continue working. Nice little, another nice little shoot popping out here and here. It's going to get so bushy and dense. If you're wondering, this Nepenthes is Bloody Mary. They're quite common in your garden centres because they're a real bomb-proof plant. They can take a lot of punishment and beginner mistakes and they can deal with a lot of different uh, environments. Um, so if you're wanting to get one, I really highly recommend a Bloody Mary, which is actually a ventricosa and ampullaria cross, a hybrid, and it's really really versatile. We'll clean that off there look, there's nothing on that one, nearly escaped my notice. Let us know in the comments what are your favourite Nepenthes. Nepenthes are my favourite carnivorous plants, they're, they're, they're beautiful, beautiful plant and it's so addictive. I wish I could just have a giant greenhouse full of them. Pretty happy with that. That looks nice eh? So if you want to know how you can safely fertilize your Nepenthes picture plants, then make sure you hit the link on the right. Guys, thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends as well. If you know anyone who wants to know how to look after their picture plants, it's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time.